babes and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before my name is Janice and I do random makeup videos and I will say no I'm not one of these people that go I post on a Monday Tuesday and Thursday subscribe get notifications so you can be part of my notifications squad I just put them up randomly when I feel like it and I do makeup reviews and yeah I do all sorts but today is the most exciting video I have ever ever had the pleasure of doing and the reason I'm so excited is because there's a new brand that has launched um, and the new brand is called Lois Cosmetics now let me just go into a little bit, bit of background with Lois. Lois is a professional MUA. She's a professional makeup artist. It's her job. She was paid to go around and do makeup, special effects, all that. She is mustard. Um, I will include her Instagram and everything down below so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, she's been doing it for years and years. And not only is she a prof professional MUA, she also designed and created some multi-award winning products that you have probably got in your collection or even in your day-to-day -day makeup routine. Um, she is responsible for, for some amazing, amazing products, uh, but this is her this is her brand that she has created, that she has brought out because that's what she wanted to do. So I am so pleased to be able to show you products from the wonderful Lois. Um, she launched on Sunday, which was International Women's Day. I mean, what a day to launch. I mean, come on. A woman-owned indie brand launching on International Women's Day. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. She is absolutely incredible and I am just very, 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 very excited to share the products that I bought so that you can see how good they are. First off, I'm going to show you the neutral palette um, because there are two palettes. There is Rose Metal and there is Gone Rogue. Um, two completely different looking palettes. Um, this one is a neutral palette. This is rose metal. It's, I mean, what do you think of the packaging, guys? What do you think of the packaging? This has all been done by her. She has spent the last 18 months working on these. They've been a work in progress. Just look at that, just beautiful. So we're gonna open up, we've got a sleeve, it's cardboard. Um, so it, obviously it's the same, same as what the sleeve is, but just look at that. How pretty is that to have on your vanity? Isn't that just gorgeous? So the inside is a beautiful, neutral palette with some absolutely gorgeous colors in there okay we have five shimmers that are beautiful and we have seven mattes now this is great for your day-to-day -day look you can go day to night with this um there are some beautiful colors in there there's beautiful shimmers there's beautiful you can do like a lovely neutral look for the day but you can also glam it up a bit for a smoky eye at night as well You've got a really intense foil here, which is best friend. Um, this is extremely intense. This is, if you see some of the swatches that uh, have been on Instagram already that she's done, this is an intense foil. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, but yeah, this is like a perfect neutrals palette and I can honestly see this being the new modern renaissance from ABH. And it's not even, not even half the price. Not even half the price. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is vegan, which is so important. And vegan means that there are no 
pro there's nothing that has come from an animal so nothing nothing that's come from an animal so that's vegan nothing's come from an animal and then it's cruelty free which means that it's not being tested on any animals so I just wanted to get that straight because some people are like if it's cruelty free it's vegan no it's not vegan means that it's not used any products that have come from animals which is brilliant because it means that this can be used by absolutely anybody um any skin tone can use this on their face on their eyes any skin tone any any age um, it's just that perfect, perfect neutral palette. Um, you've got 12 shadows inside, which you've already seen. Um, net weight is, um, I'm just trying to have a look here. I haven't got my glasses on. 1.0 gram, um, 12, and it says 0 0.05 ounces times 12. The other good thing about this, recycle packaging. Um, it's been, it's, it's basically sustainable packaging it's sustainable sustainable sourced packaging so it's all recycled product which is perfect save our planet cardboard packaging everybody knows how much i love cardboard packaging it's just incredible um so yeah it's got all the details on the back as well on how you can find her it's got her website it's got her instagram on and everything um looking i mean i love this as well i mean the, the the packaging like how it's been done is incredible because there's a mirror in there but the mirror has been sealed sorry you can see all around my room look the mirror has actually been sealed within the packaging so you're not going to have a mirror that falls out how many times have you picked up a palette and the mirror has come out it's come unstuck I've had that several times you're not going to get that with this because it's actually in the packaging you've also got her name on there as well look you've also got a wrap around of the actual roses so the roses are all over the palette look at this look just V do see anymore so we'll do the mirror test is the mirror any good let's have a look and see if the mirror is any good oh yeah I can see you perfectly um do you know what the mirror <laughs> right now the mirror is possibly one of the best mirrors that i've ever seen in a product it's just it's so clear and so concise it's just amazing it it's really amazing um so yeah this is like a close-up also you've got all the names on as well so you've got all the names actually printed on the package on the actual packaging itself rather than on an acetate there was an acetate film in there but i've dropped it on the floor um but that is to protect obviously your eyeshadows from your mirror um but you've got these beautiful colors you've got self-love fall for you one and only chivalry you've got evelyn cherish rose metal date night devotion hopeless romantic best friend bittersweet just oh, beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah i'm going to be doing an eye look with that and i'm going to do swatches and everything but the next palette i want to show you is completely different to what i've just what i've just shown you this is the gone rogue palette now the packaging is completely different obviously it's very sleek it's black with this beautiful silver detail and the gone rogue written across it and then obviously her logo underneath so again this now this is incredible okay now the reason this is incredible i'm going to show you the inside of this this is the inside look at these gorgeous colors okay now i know i've got my ring light there it's you've got a glitter here you've got beautiful shimmer here here the, this is a gorgeous shimmer as well and also i am free as a gorgeous shimmer um but gone rogue is a glitter um and we are going to be testing these out but beautiful beautiful colors just incredible and this is vegan and i mean vegan when you've got colors like this in there just incredible incredible so again cruelty free you've also got 12 pounds in there like we've already said net weight one gram um which is 0 0.05 ounces times 12 
Um, now this one says caution and warning some shades may temporarily stain the eye we recommend using oil based makeup remover discontinue use if signs of irritation or rash appear so basically because they are so pigmented there is a chance there is a chance that it could but I'm not being funny but any any shadow palette any any palette that's like pigment or whatever you know <laughs> these colors can possibly stain it's a given that is a given so this isn't anything different in that sense okay so don't be panicked by that at all um again a perfect mirror which is going to look absolutely brilliant i mean look how stylish this look again this is going to look really good on your vanity i'm really really impressed with the mirror but the fact that it's sealed in it's just and I'll tell you what, these are very, very heavy as well. I mean, do you know what I mean? It's like I've, I've picked up cardboard palettes from like the likes of AliExpress. Let's just use this as an example, okay? AliExpress. A lot of the stuff on there is by Alibaba, um, and a lot of the stuff is produced the same. And you get your cardboard packaging, and they're then they're all right, but they're not like this. This is a complete different level. Um, this, the packaging on both of these is completely different. It's like completely, you know, just amazing quality. Just feels so good. Feels so good in the hand. So I'm going to go over now so that you can see a proper close-up. Um, and I will also include the swatches so that you can see what they look like. So that's going to take up quite a bit. And then come back and I will do an eye look using the rose metal on one eye and using Gone Rogue on the other. And please, please wish me luck because just hope nobody comes to the door when I've got two different eye looks on and they're going to look completely different. Completely different. Anyway, go enjoy the swatches because I can't wait, I can't wait.
Right, okay, so as you know, I don't do swatches from my palette until after I've finished a video because I like to have my palettes pristine because I'm funny like that. I am funny like that, but I'm going to be doing um, a look with this on this eye um, and I'm going to talk you through it as well because that's what I want to do this time. That's what I want to do. Now, I have a base on. I've got MAC um, paint put on, which I always use. Um, but I want to talk this through with you because I want you to see my reaction to how these work on my eyes. So, oh, here goes. All right, so the first colour I'm going to use, I'm going to use Cherish here, and I'm going to pop that into my crease. Now, that's a pretty colour. Let's do a little bit more. I do find with the BH Cosmetics brushes, it doesn't pick up as much as I would want. Let me just change the brush and see if I've got a different brush for me. Wow. Look at that. Okay, now I will say my MAC Paint Pot is dry. It's not wet, so it's not overly with the pigment look at that wow that is so beautiful so beautiful that is such a lovely color um i'm gonna go in with um fall for you uh which is this one here i'm just gonna Worried about the size of the brush actually, but I'm just popping that on the outer corner. Let me just grab my Zoeva. You do not, you get a little bit of kick up, okay, little kick, but that's because it's so gently pressed. The pigment, I mean, oh my word, oh my word, the pigment is so there, you don't need to dip your brush in and swirl it round. Okay, you just need to just dab your brush in very, very gently, very gently indeed. And I mean, I put my brush in very, very gently, but look at how that is going across my lid. Wow. Okay. You just literally just tiny, the tiniest amount, tiniest amount on your brush. And I'm just going to build that up in the air corner. Oh, wow. I'm just building that up on the outer corner. Okay, I'm just taking that up. A little bit higher than my lid because my lid, I have hooded eyes. Oh, wow! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! That's just like, I don't think I've been this excited. Whoa, blowout or what? I haven't been this excited ever. It's just wow, I can't believe it. You just really do not need a lot at all. You do not need a lot at all. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into date night, which is this beautiful colour here, really tiny amount, and I'm just going to go under my eye. Mommy. That's a pretty colour. That's slightly less brighter than, slightly less. It's not as bright as this colour here, so it, it lifts the look without making it too heavy. So I'm just going to take my Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M562. It's a tiny, tiny little detail brush. And I'm just literally just blending. Out here, just to 
and make it look, oh god this is blending fantastic. You can tell it's blending really really well because look at the, the pigment that's picked up on the brush just from my lid. Amazing, absolutely. Okay, so do I put a little bit of that in or not? No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the fall for you. Oh my gosh, I have definitely fallen. Definitely fallen. Do you know what? It's just amazing to be able to support an indie brand to support someone who really knows what they're doing who not just not like a youtuber that but i'm just gonna i'm gonna go into this one and only now just to blend out the edge it's just lovely to be able to support someone who knows what they're talking about someone who's not a youtuber um someone who is a professional makeup artist that has launched their own brand um, just incredible. Now you're going to have to ignore the fact that I have, I am in dire need of a wax, but I have actually let my brows grow back naturally so that I can get a better shape on them. Let me just shut the door because you can hear Sophia and my hubby. Okay, so what do we think so far? What do I think so far? I think, wow. Just absolutely wow. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. So, I'm going to take some of this. Um, let's wait for that. I'm going to take some of this rose, the actual rose metal colour, which is the colour, the name of the palette. I'm just going to pop that on. Woohoo! My word! Okay. Whoa, she pigmented, baby! Oh my goodness, look at this. And this is from a brush that isn't that great at pick and stuff. <gasps> Let me just zoom in. Zoom in. Can you see this shimmer here? Look. Oh my goodness. Let me put a little bit on my finger. Just so that you can see what I mean. <gasps> Good Lord. Oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. That is incredible. Take a little bit of Evelyn, which is like a highlighter colour, which is really pretty. Let's pop that in, in the corner. Like so. Just a little bit more. My word, that would be such a, such a good highlighter, such a good highlighter. And then I'm going to use my finger rather than a brush. So that's pretty intense, okay. That is pretty. That is pretty. You've got to be very gentle on how you press into this because it, it is like a wet foil. Oops, a little bit fell off my finger because I pushed in too hard. So I just blend. really pretty it's not like you do have to be careful because as you push down and it, it is a little bit crumbly but it's like 
Try to move it away so you can get a good view of how that is. Can you see what I mean? It's just like a little bit crumbly, but that's because it's just like almost like pure pigment. These are not pressed hard because um, a lot of stuff that you get from drugstore is pressed fairly hard. Here we go. There we go. Um, and then obviously if you want it a bit more intense you can wet it. But I'm just using it straight out of the pan. Okay, so I've just marked my... That's clever, my love, Janice. Just to put your finger all over your face so that you get fallout. It's not fallout. Look at that. Oh, gosh. I don't even need eyeliner on or mascara on. I love that. Oh, my word. That is just beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're now going to go on to the other eye and we're going to use the, the Gone Rogue. Okay, so clearly I haven't put on any um, mascara or anything yet, so I will do that in a minute. But there, let's go over to Gone Rogue. This is exciting because this is colour. This is colour! Oh yeah, it's colour. Let's have a look at this little baby again. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Mm. To the yellow, which is walk in my shoes. Or, yes, I've had some um, funny um, incidents when I've used the word walk. Um, and it's come out with something different instead. Okay. That is a lovely yellow. It's not, it's a peachy yellow rather than um, a neon yellow. It's very, very pretty. Very pigmented. For My goodness, for a, for a yellow, that is, yeah. It's not a yellow. It is like a peachy yellow. Very, very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, and then I'm going to go in with... Mm, should we go in? I'm going to go in with Wallflower. So this little orangey colour here. So just to deepen that up a little bit. Ooh, oh my word. Look at that. Look at that for an orange. Right, I need to change brushes now. Okay, let's give that a swirl. So we don't mix colours. Okay. Right. Oh, I've literally just dip my brush in and look at it. Oh my gosh. My goodness me. Okay. Oh, she pigmented. She's pigmented. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Class Clown, which is this one here. Again, don't <laughs> don't need a lot. Don't need a lot. I'm going to put that just over here. Look at that. Do you know what? The, the colours blend so seamlessly. It's like they're made. What is. What, how is this happening? It's like they've just blended. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so just take a, a bigger brush and just. And brush that through. 
Just a really, look at that. <gasps> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, so, and then we have a lovely red. I want to use this red colour that's in here as well. Um, let's get the pigment off that. I want to use this Can't Compare, which is up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. Right, okay. Here goes, let's look and see how she goes. Whoa. Whoa. Goodness me. Okay, I'm going to dip into that walk into my shoes again. That yellowy, peachy yellow colour. I'm just going... Just blend that out at the top there. This is completely different to how I would normally do a sunset look. I don't know why I've done it this way, but I'm glad that I did. Because it's just... <sighs> wow. Well. So I'm going to pop more of that red. That can't compare. A little bit more of that actually on the outer corner. I think I'm using the wrong brush if I'm honest. Oh no, there she is. doing Janice I just want to use all the colours oh, I've gone right across my oh gosh oh, I am so impressed with that so impressed and look at how the colours have all like blended together you, you can see the different colours that I've put in there. Let's go back into walking my shoes, the yellow again. I you notice that I'm getting higher and higher and higher and higher up into my eyebrow. Right. I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. And just go, do you know what? It is what it is. And under my eye, I'm thinking of using, uh, I'm thinking of using Misfit under my eye, which is this purple colour. Gosh, she's really going for it today, isn't she? She's going for the colours. Okay, she be there too. Oh, okay. I'm speechless because I've never had anything that has blended this nice ever and just it's just beautiful these shadows feel so high end they really do so with that i'm going to use this 
rare treasure which is like a gold greeny gold shimmer I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner whoops That's beautiful because it's a different type of gold to this. This is like gold gold and this is like a, a yellowy greeny gold. It's really pretty. Really like that. And then we've got a green in there as well. Shall I use the green? Shall I use the green? The one that I really want to try is the unapologetic colour. Oh my gosh, look. See, I've dipped it in there and look. Ah. Oh. Right, so be careful because obviously the more that you put on your brush, the more fallout you're going to get. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I should have cut, should have cut my crease really. If I'd have cut my crease, I could have been better off. But, oh, look at that green. Wow. Wow. That is just oh, not the ideal brush, but it was the only clean one I'd got in my And <laughs> that's completely different to what I'm used to. My hubby's gonna go, what have you done? So I'm just gonna go back into that walk in my shoes and just go over the top. That. I'm going to use my finger on that shimmer. Okay, hello. Hello, pigment. Hello there. I just hope nobody comes at the door because they can look at me and go, what the f*** have you got on your eyes? So, alright, I know it's not a daytime look, I know it's not a wearable look, and it is a very out there look, and it's a very unusual look for me, but I really wanted to put this to the test to see how it worked, and i got to say... Yeah, perfect. And that shimmer is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. So we've gone from a bright red look to a green and orange look. Did you know what? Put that through its paces. So what I really need to do now is go and put some mascara on. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute to show you what it looks like with the mascara and eyeliner and everything. So we have gone rogue. I need to do another eye look with this. I really do because I feel like that is very, very different to what I normally do. And then obviously, rose metal. Which one do you prefer? Which palette do you guys prefer? Um, um, yes, I know, I'll put the brush up too much there. <laughs> I need to clean up a little bit, I've been a little bit messy. Okay, so this is what they look like with mascara and eyeliner on. So we have rose metal. And then we have gone row. Which one's your favourite look? Which one do you prefer? See how we get on. So my salad water gonna get on with them. Um, 
taken the colour, taken the palette, the eyeshadow off. So let's have a look and see how we get on. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? It's not stained, really. Let's use the other side. It's not stained bad at all, is it? Really? I haven't used an oil-based one either. I've just used an ordinary one. So, yeah, I'm quite quite impressed with that actually that it hasn't stained so I'm gonna take this one off again as well see how we get on because I'm gonna do another eye look um, this time I think I'm gonna do both eyes and then we'll see how it looks afterwards so I'll be right back guys here I am guys I've put more foundation on here and um, yeah, I brought my uh, Mac pot, paint pot down because I thought I'll put some of this on and uh, yeah. And I brought my other brushes down that I normally use because I thought, yep. Yeah. Okay, right, so let's pop some of this on and do this. I didn't want to do it dry this time, I wanted to do it wet. So it's going to go straight onto the wet primer and I'm going to test it to the test it to the test it okay so I'm going to go in with date night here so it's a pink colour so you can see that it's just whoa okay okay cocky now you must remember to stamp, if you're using wet, you must remember to stamp it on. Don't just go straight in and rub it in because it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Okay, so now we can just get that blended so I'm just going to use a bit of cherish da, 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 da. so I'm just popping that on the top okay just to blend that out I'll tell you what these are definitely definitely like feel like high end they don't feel they feel really really nice really nice okay so I'm going to use a bit of this brown here which is devotion in the outer corner just a tad just just to darken that up there Ooh. look at that Look at that. Just move that around. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of the black um, right in the corner, and the black colour is called Bittersweet, which is this colour here. Just, I'm literally just going to just dab in there. I don't need a lot at all. Okay, and then I'm going under the eye to smoke, smoke that out.
go in with Hopeless Romantic, which is this colour here. Put that on my brush. Let's see how I get on. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Here, um, I'm really putting this pack up for its paces, I tell you. And I'm just popping that. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Gosh, I look so pink. It's really nice. It's really, really like that. Wow. Wow. So I'm going to have that self love and I'm going to pop that just a little bit on my finger. Because I know that these are more intense when you use your finger. Oh. Okie dokie, I'm happy with that. Whoa. Now the other thing I've just spotted, Evelyn, might have a really good highlighter. So I'm just going to dip in there. Ooh. Oh! Look at that! Okay. Oh, okay, right, so, this isn't a face palette, but, <gasps> beautiful, beautiful, wow. with that I'm really really happy with that oh look at this <gasps> okay do you have had another thought as well date night Ooh. look she's got blusher as well look Pretty. Oh, okay, man, this is so good. This is so good. This is beyond good. So that's two quick eye looks that I've done with the rose metal palette on. I'm going to go in with this underdog here, which is a beautiful purpley colour. Let's see on the brush here. Okay, let's just. Oh, no, it's the wrong brush. It's the wrong type of brush. Absolutely beautiful. Love a bit of purple. 
Right, so I'm going to go with non-conformant, which is this really, really deep purple over here. I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner. Oh, wow. Okay. She really dark. She's beautiful. Okay. So I'll pop that in there. So we just need to blend that out. considering how much I've used wow. Wow, 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 wow. oh loving it loving it loving it loving it okay let's go under eye and I'm gonna go under my eye with I think we're going to go under with Misfit again, which is this deep purple colour here. Okay, that is just stunning. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the colour. I don't only use glitter that I've been waiting to use, and it's unapologetic here. So, let's go in and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And then I'm going to use Gone Rogue, which is this. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, let me just. What do you guys think? Let me just bring the camera in. And then. Well. What can I say? I am, I am blown away. I am really, really blown away by the quality of these, um, the feel of them. I mean, just like, I'm not being funny, right? But with vegan, vegan colors, um, usually you find that they are gritty. These aren't, these are mega smooth I mean really smooth so I mean it's like it's very unusual for a vegan a vegan um, red to be buttery smooth um, just try one more which is class clown which is actually red although it comes off on camera as being orange it is actually red it's like 
yeah, my fingers are sticky, so they're not sticking pretty crowd. Now that the vegan, do you know what I mean? It's like I I just can't get over how pigmented these are, how soft they are, and I mean also like when I first saw the plus the, the the shiny um outlay, I was like, mm, mm, would matte look better, but. Do you know what? I actually think it's great. All right, it doesn't look great with the light reflecting off of it, so I'll, I'll put it like this. Um, but it's easily cleaned. It just is so easy to clean because if you get a little bit of muck on, you just wipe it off. She's gorgeous. She is so gorgeous. I really want to use that teal as well. Oh, I wonder about using the teal in the inner corner. Let's have a look and see. Um, it's called I Am Free. Let's go on the inner corner. Oh, 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 okay, okay, you got me. Well, you had me earlier, but wow. Just dipping it in this bit just to blend them two colours together. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, okay, I need to do a bit more blending on that. But wow. Oh, man. I think that's probably one of the best looks I've ever done. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. I'm blown away. I've never been this blown away by eyeshadow palettes before. I've always been happy to, to, to buy eyeshadow palettes, but wow. I love them. I love them. Right, I'm going to put the details down below of where you can get them. They are £19.99 each, plus your postage. Um, now, before anybody saying, well, it's a lot more expensive than what I can get in drugstore. These are not drugstore. These are indie brand. They are, um, the quality is just incredible. I would, these to me are better quality than any high-end brand that I have got. And that includes the Norvina palette, which is like 68 quid. Um, it's just incredible because like, it's just amazing just amazing all right i wouldn't necessarily go out looking like this well i wouldn't go out looking like this because people would look at me and go what the um but do you know what that is just amazing actually do you know what i would rock that on a night out i would definitely rock that and as for that being a highlighter and blush oh <gasps> That's, that's the mutts nuts as far as I'm concerned. Mutts nuts. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put the details down below of where you can get these from. Um, if you like them, please, please, please go and support her. You know, she's literally just a, a new, brand new, brand new this week launched them. Her very, very first launch. And I'm so proud of Lois. So proud of Lois Cosmetics. And yeah, um, I mean these are going to be two of my most favourite palette ever. I can I can just see it now. I can just see it now. But when I want a natural day look, oh, but there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye bye now. Bye.